world's first hackable single board server guys from zima board welcome back my name is mohammed from techutopia youtube channel techutopia team today will be testing this beautiful product guys which for the first time we'll be showing you over our youtube channel techutopia guys so watch this video till the end we'll be doing unboxing hands-on tests uh, talking about the top features of this uh, product and of course even the using, using the screen recorder the demo of the operative system the casa os uh, by the way this one has a multi os support guys uh, linux windows android you name it uh, super expandable storage guys ram and rom so you have uh, different options with this one guys uh, and of course it's super tiny unbelievably tiny guys we'll be showing everything in unboxing it can fit in any pocket man it's so small anyway the buying links will be in the description and by the way if you already get this one for yourself this is the 832 model which we have this is the highest uh, variant which they have they have uh, obviously the cheaper one which is selling under 130 bucks uh, this one is selling for 200 dollars guys one of the best buys anyway the buying links will be in the description let's begin with this video the Zima Board A32 by Icewale enters the arena of single board servers with the promise of hackability and performance, targeting a niche market seeking robust computing solutions. Positioned as a versatile alternative to popular options like the Raspberry Pi, the Zima Board boasts a range of ports and components that set it apart. Priced at 120 bucks for the lowest model, it beckons enthusiasts and professionals alike to explore its capabilities. In this review, we delve into the Zima Board's design, performance available configurations, Accessory software and overall value proposition. The Zima Board A32 surprises with its compact size and lightweight build, weighing a mere 278 grams. Despite its diminutive stature, it packs a punch, housed with a passive heatsink that effectively manages thermal dissipation. Its form factor, akin to that of a modern smartphone, is complemented by a selection of ports, including two SATA 6.0 GP per second ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and a PCIe 2.0 for XLOT for expandability. Notably, the inclusion of a mini display port for video output offers 4K 60Hz performance, albeit a departure from a conventional HDMI or USB-C options. The presence of a dual built-in GPE LAN ports ensures seamless wired connectivity catering to diverse networking needs. The Zima Board lineup comprises variants tailored to different requirements. The Zima Board 216 features a dual-core Intel Celeron N3350 CPU, 2GB RAM, and 16 GB EMMC 5-point storage. Stepping up to the Zima Board 4.32 or 4.32 boasts a quad-core Intel Celeron N3450 CPU, 4 GB RAM and 32 GB of storage. At the helm, which we review right now, the Zima Board A32 shares the same CPU and storage specifications as its predecessor but ups the ant with 8 GB RAM. All configurations out an Intel HD Graphics 500 GPU and support for 1080p video decoding, heading to multi media requirements with Ablum. Icewheel offers a suite of accessories and expansion cards to augment uh, the Zima board's capabilities. From a 2.5 inch hard disk stand to an Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E PCIe card, users can customize their setups to suit their specific use cases. Additionally, options include Ethernet adapters, USB hubs and NVMe SSD adapters, enhancing connectivity and storage options. While these accessories add versatility, the absence of onboard storage alternatives to EMMC may deter users seeking faster storage solutions. Every Zima board ships with the Casa OS, a Docker-enabled Linux variant based on Debian. Casa OS simplifies the system management and application deployment, featuring a built-in file server and app store for easy software installation. Users can leverage Casa OS, OS's intuitive interface to monitor hardware performance, storage availability, and network status. Furthermore, the Zima board supports multiple operating systems including Linux, Windows, OpenVRT, PFSense, Android, and Liberal Alec extended its utility across diverse applications. During testing, the Zima Board A32 exhibited commendable performance across various tasks. Running applications posed no challenge with CPU utilization and RAM usage remaining within acceptable limits. The board's ability to serve multiple applications concurrently underscored its versatility and suitability for multitasking environments. In in conclusion, the Zima Board 832 emerges as a compelling option in a single board server landscape, offering a blend of performance, versatility, and expandability. While priced higher than entry-level 
alternatives, its robust construction, abundance of ports, and hackable nature justify the investment of enthusiasts and professionals alike. Ice Wheels endeavor to address the demand for high performance single board service is commendable. Audience seeking enhanced commuting capabilities despite minor drawbacks such as the reliance on EMMC storage and occasional system instability, the Zima board presents a viable solution for thinkers and tech enthusiasts seeking for to explore the realm of single board commuting. By the way, the Zima board A32 is available for 199.99 from the official Zima board store, alongside a range of accessories and iterations catering to diverse requirements. Whether embarking on DIY projects or in deploying robust service solutions, the Zima board offers a versatile platform for exploration and innovation. Get one for yourself with our link in the description and until our next tech episode, stay cool. Mahasalaamu.